You know I love efficiency, right? And if you don't know, then, well, I'm all about the efficiency. I've made a couple of videos in the past about how to be more efficient in the Affinity Suite and some tools that make things more efficient. But today there is one tool that has made the biggest impact on efficiency ever. Like seriously, ever. All right, enough beating around the bush about this. The tool I'm talking about is the knife tool. Now it's come to us with the release of Affinity version two. And let me show you just how life changing this is. Okay, we've got three artboards here. Now the desired effect that we're gonna go for is this one at the top. Now, before we had the knife tool, how we would go about doing this is a very kind of over the top, annoying way. There is a simpler way to do it and I'll show you both. But basically what we would potentially do is either you could grab the pen tool and trace around this circle and create some shapes, for example, we could curl that there and then make like a segment shape there. But now we have that segment there. Once we created all of them, we could then move them outwards to create the desired shattered effect. However, that's one really time consuming and kind of irritating. Like I said, there is an easier way to do it. So the other way that we could have gone around and did things is if we use the pencil tool. So underneath the vector brush tool here, if you right click, you can get the pencil tool. What you would then do is create your pencil line. And in the layers panel here, we've got our pencil curve and our regular circle. We'd grab them both. And then in general, you'd head over to the Boolean tools and hit divide. Now what you can see is that we've got two segments of a circle. And then what you would do is draw another pencil line, grab all three or anything that the pencil is crossing over and hit divide again. Now we've got a section of four and then we go again, pencil line, select them all, hit divide, pencil line, and you get the idea. Just like it's repetitive, it's annoying, but we get a decent effect. And then what we can do is if we separate this out, you can see we've got a not so bad shattered effect, similar to the first one, depending on how I made the cuts, but it did take quite a long time. Now, let me show you what the knife tool can do. With this circle here, all we would do is grab the circle, head over to the knife tool, which is shortcut K on the keyboard, and we would literally make our cuts however we want. Occasionally, because we've made so many different shapes, you may have to click another one to make your desired cut on that shape, but we can make these cuts very easily. And then in an instant, we have in our layer panel, all of these cuts. And now we can simply move these around and create that shattered effect. Now you've got to agree that was a lot faster. And if I wasn't explaining it as I was going, I probably would have done it even faster than that. But now we have all of these curves of this circle that we can just control and G group them together. And we have our shattered effect in one group. But you can clearly see that manipulating shapes has actually got a whole lot easier. So say we had this rectangle here and we just wanted to cut off one of the edges. We could literally just make a diagonal cut, take that off. And whether that's part of someone's logo or whatever, that has just made things a whole lot easier. And we could even do the same thing on the other side just as easily. And just like that, I've made that design with a whole lot of ease. So manipulating shapes has got a whole lot easier, but not only that, this also works for text. So say, for example, we have this text here now without having to convert it to curves or do anything else. If we just grab the knife tool and then make our cuts. So if we make a cut going right across like that, you can now see it's created a group within this artboard with all our letters and shapes in. So it has already converted it into curves for us, but it means that we have skipped a step. But now easily what we can do is grab the sections that we need to and then just lift that apart. and We have our torn effect. Now, before the knife tool came about, that would take a lot longer to do. But really quickly, I've managed to bang that out and it's done. So efficiency is a big thing and the knife tool has made things a whole lot more efficient. So hopefully now you can see just how easy the knife tool is to use, but just how easy it's going to make manipulating shapes and text. It really has been a huge difference since its release. As always, if you have any tips of your own about the knife tool, drop them in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos like this. If you haven't already, make sure you check out this video up here. And as always, I've been Brown Bear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.